in Minneapolis, Boringer survives on a steady diet of football. Good. Let's go. Where you at, Mo? Stay with me. You see, he had what? What did you see here? Circle. Had the circle, right, Mo? Yeah. Great job pressing him. And once you get to him, now I got to blow pine. And once you blow pine, you use that inside hand, a little scoop, and I'm gone. A little scoop, and I'm gone. If I was blind, Mo, boy, I couldn't understand what you were saying. Because I couldn't see you. Give him some just shake. He's going to give you the nod, ain't he? He's going to tell you if you understand. Mo, you understand? I can coach off field. He's learning each day. You can see each week, now that we're in our off-season program, that he's that he's improving. Now, again, let's get in a good stance. Let's get ourselves ready. All right, let's get in a good stance. But as I come off now, again, speed up the field. Pad level. Your eyes are up. You're not looking at the ground. He's thinking you're going deep. What pad level means for a receiver is when we come off the football, we want to come off the football with our pad level down opposed to coming up running. Our momentum, that force coming to football, we want to make sure that we have pad level down so our momentum can take us up the field. If I keep that pad level down and get to my spot and continue to run my pad level, because once you raise up, once you raise up, he knows something's getting ready to happen, doesn't he? Nice job to Rob to keep your pad level what? Low. Let's go, Mobo. Pad level, pad level, pad level. Eyes up. Hit it. Nice. We understand the background and where he's coming from. And it'll just be a matter of how quickly he can come along and adjust.